concerning their travel lovers. So today is Saturday, it's actually 28th of October 2017, it's the weekend. So me and Misha decided to go on a little adventure. So today's supposed to be really nice, about 16, 17 degrees and we're going to Vancouver Island. Um, obviously Vancouver Island is pretty big but we are visiting mostly Victoria as it's supposed to be really really beautiful um, but yeah as me and Misha both live here on Vancouver mainland we for if you're doing your uh, working holiday visa you might be living within the same areas too so we decided to show you how to get from mainland Vancouver into the Vancouver Island Okay, so the first mode of transport is the bus, so let's hop on. For us to get to the terminal, it's taken about one hour and 30 minutes. There she is! <laughs> Do you want to say good morning? Good morning! So, yeah, so 70 stops and then we're gonna be at Oak Ridge Sky Train Station and then we'll go from there. so we just arrived to the terminal it only took us hour and 15 minutes and on Google Maps they say it's gonna take us hour and 30 minutes but yeah there's loads of people behind us I guess everyone wants to go on 9 o'clock ferry and this is what we're gonna do so we're just gonna go get the tickets and hop onto the ferry so let's go to Vancouver Island Woo! hi there travel lovers or well, good morning I'm not really a morning person so I wasn't really very this morning, unlike Justina, always bouncing around. Um, yeah, we're just boarding the ferry now. It's called the Spirit of Vancouver Island. That's the vessel's name. Oh, nine o'clock. Okay, so we're walking towards the ferry now. Oh, Nando's. Stini's over there getting our morning coffee. Can she see me? Yeah, she can see me. <coughs> Trying to work out how to get to me. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Well, cheers. Cheers. How much was it? Seven ninety-eight. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Two lattes. Uh huh. The ferry. The ferry just arrived. Ooh. Yeah. Justina's going for it. Go on there, Justina. Go on. Get in there. So good. And for me. It's a big ferry. Where do you want to sit? Tonight. Somewhere with a view. Somewhere at the back. I'm sure there's plenty of space. It's huge. Yeah. Okay guys, so we're now on the ferry, uh, everyone's aboard and we're just about to uh, get going but this whole ferry journey should take us about an hour and a half. I was not expecting this ferry to be so big so I've left Justina to go keep our seats but I'm just walking around now, there's like a buffet bar, everyone's queuing up to go get some like full English and muffins. There's an arcade here, there's shops where you can buy snacks, and magazines. Everyone's queuing here for breakfast. This is the menu. It's a gift shop here. And a smaller cafe here. Alright, this is outside. Yeah, it's a nice day today. the top deck now it's very busy I hate vlogging by myself but Justina's downstairs um, holding on to the seats uh, I just wanted to mention the price of the tickets in terms of if you're a foot passenger <laughs> I think we're ready to go now so yeah if you're a foot passenger it's about $16 if you want to come by car it's around $60 so the price difference is 
quite huge and to be honest an hour and a half to travel to the terminal is not that bad um, considering the price difference. So we just arrived to Vancouver Island and we're just about to hop onto another bus where we should go to the downtown area. Another bus. On here for an hour now, aren't we? So we arrived here and now we're going all the way down to Victoria downtown. After five and a half hours, that's right, five and a half, we are finally on or in Victoria and on Vancouver Island. The bus is just there and luckily enough, if we turn, <laughs> where, where is it? Parliament buildings are just behind us there, there which is. is probably the main attraction here. I don't think we were anticipating it being that long, were we? No. To be honest, I, I thought maybe three hours would be here. Hmm. I think the main thing we didn't really take into account was the ferry terminal that was an hour away. We've been on the bus for about an hour, isn't mm -hmm. it? So um, yeah, didn't really think about that. So if you do want to get here a lot quicker, you could probably drive, rent a car and drive, get on a ferry and then drive with your car around here. Um, but it is $60 per cost. But if there is a big group of you, then that's perfect because in the you end, can the you can share the cost. So anyways, we're here now. Five and a half hours later, we are desperate to get some food, but first of all, we're gonna do a little photo shoot. So let's go and explore. <laughs> So just stood in front of the parliament buildings, kind of reminds me of home a little bit. So yeah, uh, let's go now and explore maybe a bit of downtown and will we go to the castle today? Yeah. Justina, you're starving, aren't you? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that means she's hungry. Let's go means, yeah, let's go. Baby, steak and eggs for breakfast. Living the high life. That's nice. Set potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Tuck in. Okay. Houses around here, really nice. Just walking up towards the castle. Nice character. That one. Yeah, as you can see, autumn is here. Full swing. We've got eight minutes left. We've been walking for about 20, so all in all about half an hour to get from the city center up towards the castle. We didn't want to take a bus because we wanted to walk. Seeing that we've never been here before, it's always a good way to explore and take in the surroundings. But yeah, the houses are really nice. 
like Victorian style, which makes sense because we're in Victoria. Okay guys, so we just arrived to our second attraction of the day and that's Craig the Rock Castle. So this castle was built during Victorian times. We're not sure of any other history or facts, so that's why we're just gonna go now and find out. Let's go. It was built for Robert and Joanne Dunsma, early Scottish colonists, but Robert died before the house was finished and Joanne moved in with three daughters and two orphan grandchildren in the fall of 1890. Okay, so it's like a family castle yeah, then. It's like a family castle. It's Scottish. very similar to Toronto Castle, Castle Oma. Okay guys, so we're done with the castle. It was really cool, uh, really quick experience. Uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it. Did you, did you enjoy it? Are you pointing that gun at me? <laughs> Actually heading to the hostel now. It's already after three, so we can finally check in, drop our bags, maybe freshen up a little bit. And then yeah, we're just gonna take a nice stroll and see where the rest of the day takes us. So for now, let's go. This is a let's go day? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> so this is our hostel. For the night. For the night. It's called Ocean Island Inn. Cute! We're not sharing with anyone though, are we? We're not going that much of a backpacker route. Those days are over, my friends. Not, not ever, ever sleeping in a bunk bed with others ever again. Especially when there's two of us, it's too far. Yeah, when there's two people, you don't need to be doing that. I'm getting old. 28. So this is our room. Justina's settling in there. <laughs> in the corner. This is our hostel experience. Yeah. No bunk beds for us. Yeah. No. It's a really cool hostel. It is actually. It? It's free breakfast, free dinner. Because the borough's not working today, they're gonna get us free soft drinks so not alcoholic no alcoholic well that's no good is it and this room we know is not the cheapest room ever you still have to pay a fortune in canada to even stay in hostels i know we're sharing in a private room but even the dorm rooms are not cheap the best way to travel in canada is actually in the summer months and the spring months when the weather is much warmer because you can stay on campsites for like $20, sometimes less than that, and it's the best cheap accommodation you can find in Canada, really. We're ready now, aren't we, Justina? Yeah. We just arrived to Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, we walked all the way from our hostel. It took us probably about 40 minutes altogether with stops as we're taking pictures and filming. We saw a pirate. We saw a pirate. Fisherman's Wharf is a small marina with cute teeny tiny houseboats which are very <laughs> colorful and people live in there so... Yeah, you can kind of see them behind you. Yeah, you can kind of see, see them there. Yeah, let's so. check them out then. There's also these activities here at Fisherman's Wharf. Fish and chips, ferry, bistro, whale watching, ice cream. Yeah, it's like a cute little marina, isn't it? Yes. Let's go before it gets really dark. Yeah. We're chasing the sun, guys. Have you enjoyed Victoria so far? Have you enjoyed it today? Very cute, similar to England. It is actually. Uh, what makes you think of England then? More history? More history, older, that's what we love. Yeah, older buildings. Yeah, plus the day is really beautiful today. It's not cold, not hot, perfect. <laughs> Goldilocks. Not too hot, not too cold, it's yes, just right. right. So nice here. There's even a, where's the sushi bar I saw? Uh, oh, it's in that green building. Oh yeah? 
but this is a gift shop here so I just thought these were houses they're not they're like shops as well yeah and houses and houses yeah mixture yeah it's very sweet there's the sushi bar and we have Mexican here on the corner and fish and chips there it's so unique have you ever seen anything like it I don't think I have no, houses I I have. houses like this Yeah, it's really cool. Like literally you can just float away. And if anyone's interested, there's a bed and breakfast here. So you can actually stay in one of these floating houses yourself. This one, don't know the name of it, sorry, but <laughs> this is a- it's the red one. I think it's actually called floating bed and breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you can stay here yourself, guys. It's pretty unique. There's gossip around these parts that there's a seal down here. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's very fast. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We'll be like that girl in a video. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 get it, get it. Wow. Look, it's so cute. Oh, it's so sweet. Is getting some air. Wow, look at that. Sure no, no. That's don't amazing. Have you ever seen anything like it? No, I don't think. Oh, look at it. It's on oh the back. God. It's on the back. Oh, it's so sweet. I know this until now, but we left here and we actually went through the seven Gulf Islands, which is these islands here, which is meant to be really nice. And we traveled all the way through this area to Schwartz. Mm -hmm. What's it say? Schwartz Bay, Bay Terminal. Terminal. Yeah, and then we've come all the way down to Victoria. But look how many islands there are, yeah, guys. It's I was saying to Justine, I didn't realize how many islands there are off of Vancouver and even this island here. Does this belong to America? Yeah, that's America. Yeah. This is uh, Washington State. Oh, yeah. So look how close we are, really. The border Very is close. the border is here, and that's Vancouver, and that's the border. So, really. Very we'll close. Next and it's weird, isn't it? Because it's cutting through here. Look, yeah. we're very close to the border now. Look, that's America. <laughs> we're off for a pint now, so Justine is just about to brush my hair because she hasn't shaved my head for like five weeks. There we go. <laughs> isn't it? How long is my hair, guys? Look at this. They can't tell. So she's getting me ready for the night out now. <laughs> is it done? All brushed? And by the way, um, this weekend is kind of our anniversary weekend because we met on a Halloween day, which was 31st of October, mm -hmm. 2014. So yeah, it's three years since we've been together. And that's why she doesn't shave my head anymore because it's been three years. She doesn't care anymore. <laughs> She doesn't care what I no. look like. I let you grow it. <laughs> Guys, we are indulging in a happy hour. It's $4 for each sleeve. It's kind of just shy of a pint, but we've got a nice street view here. We sat outside. It's a really nice evening. There's a nice pub just there. The oh yeah, look, can you see the horses? Or the horse <laughs> galloping away there. Oh yeah, Justina's right here. We're at a place called Darcy's Pub. Darcy's. Oh, Darcy's yeah. like from the movie. Mr. Uh, Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Yeah. Bridget Jones' diary. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. Cheers to our anniversary and for being happy and in love. And just cheers for an amazing day in Victoria. It's been great, hasn't it? All right, cheers. So the battery is flashing on our camera now and uh, it's probably a good time to say goodbye. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We've so enjoyed today. It's been really great. Uh, Victoria is full of history. It's been very, very beautiful. And we're going to have one more day here tomorrow. So I suppose we'll just see you there. Yeah, see you on the next vlog, guys. So right. thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like like it, share it with your friends, and make sure you stay subscribed. And as always, guys, cheers, cheers to freedom! freedom. Woo!